Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. For those of you just joining us, my name is Livingstone Imoniti and I'm super excited to talk to you guys again. We've been away from the discussion for some time now and I'm very very happy that we are back. Yeah. So today I'm going to be talking about what are the things you do upon arrival in the United States as an international student. What are those things you should do to kind of merge into the society and to get things done right. Okay, so after you arrive in the United States, you've rested like a week or so. Yeah, you've rested for a week, you move around the neighborhood, you've taken pictures and you've met new people you've set it down so what you need to do first is to get a sim get a sim card get a get a new line yeah the reason why you should get a new line because most of the things you'll be doing will require you to drop in your your contacts and you can be using your international uh contacts in the united states so you need to get a new a new line you need to get a new line i will recommend meet mobile yeah, I recommend Meet Mobile because they are very cheap and reliable. It's about fifteen dollars a month. They're cheap and reliable. You can get the T-Mobile. You can get there are so many network providers in the United States. Well, I will always recommend Meet Mobile to anyone. So get your network and uh, if it's work, if the the line work with your the phone you brought from your home country, beautiful. But if it doesn't, you have to get a phone. Yeah, you have to get a new phone. You can make sure the phone you're getting is not locked. I said this in the last video. Make sure the phone you're getting is not locked. Make sure the phone is unlocked so it, it can work with your uh, SIM and any, any other SIM you want to use. Okay. So after that, I feel you should, you should open a bank account. Yeah, you should open a bank account. So walk into any bank close to you. I will recommend Bank of America. You have Bank of America, you have Chase Bank, but I always recommend Bank of America to anyone that comes to me. So go to Bank of America. Uh, because of the pandemic, you have to schedule an appointment first before going. You can't just walk into the bank and then open an account. You have to schedule an appointment. So you go to the website, schedule an appointment, then walk in on your due date and then open a bank account. It's really, really fast Open the bank account. And when you, when you want to go open your bank account, make sure you go with... Uh, means of identification to your international passports and every other document you feel you need but the most important is your international passport go with your international passport as a means of identification and if you can go with your i-22 that would be nice so go with your international passport go with your i-20 to prove that you're a student and yeah because when you open the account you're going to send a, a code to the number you put in that's why you should get a, a, a local number so you get a local number in the us so when they send the code to your local number you can easily read it but if you do not have the local number you can go in with your friend and then use your friend's number and when you get your own local number you can update that via the website or via the app next is to get your social security number now the reason why you need your social security number is because without the social security number ssn you cannot work so you need the ssn to work you need your social security number and there is a condition rather there is a condition you have to wait 10 days upon your arrival into the united states before you can go get your social security number and you can apply online apply online then go physically to drop in your document and then you get your social security number social security card in the mailbox you don't get it immediately you don't get a social security number immediately you have to wait for a couple of days before you get the social security card in your mailbox so you have to wait for 10 days after your arrival before you you can apply for your social security number and for those of you who love to spend <laughs> you love to spend you can then apply for your credit card after you get your social security number because without your SSN you cannot apply for your credit card so you can apply for a credit card so credit in, in Nigeria we do not like to borrow right we, we like to work for our money save our money then use the money we've saved to get whatever we want to get but over here encourage uh, borrowing of money and the money you borrow there is no tax and cure on it so you can get a credit card and start building up your credit you can if you build up your credit you can be able to get loan from the bank and uh buy things on credit yeah so you can get your credit card if you want 
So these are the things you should do when you get to the United States, like the orientation of kind of uh, merging into the society. So these are the things you should do. It's really not hard. Just get your your local number, open a bank account, get your security number, and if you want, get your credit card, and you can move on. And also make sure you always communicate to the IEEE's if you have any question always reach out to the IEEE's and they will respond to you you can also always reach out to your advisor or the graduate school if you're a student and they will give you information just if you're confused just ask people and try to reach out to people try to make friends with the locals try to make friends with the locals and if you have any question always reach out to the locals and ask questions make friends and be social and be like me who just do videos for you guys yeah i i usually don't go out i'm always indoor don't be like me make sure you go out and make sure you meet people okay so that'll be all for now if you like the video you can share you can comment you can like subscribe do what you gotta do to stay happy okay this is the the holiday period and i just want to wish you a merry christmas and a happy new year so stay safe bye, -bye.